Hi, this is Karen White of Divine Time Astrology, and I'm here again with my friend and colleague Nishi Pandit of Atma Astrology. And today we are talking about the sign of Leo, where you will hear things that perhaps you've never heard before about the sign. So hi Nishi, thank you for joining me again. Hi Karen, always good to be here. Oh yes, and I want to mention that um, Nishi is a Vedic astrologer and an Ayurveda practitioner, and he will be um, letting us know um, any relevant Ayurveda tidbits of knowledge that will be helpful to us about the sign of Leo as we go along today. Okay, so let's get right into it. The sign of Leo. So this is coming from Brihat Parashara which is uh, an ancient document uh, for Vedic astrology. And so I'm just going to start off with a description of the sign of Leo. So Leo is Simha, which means lion. And it's the lion ruled by the sun. He's sattva, four-footed, a kshatriya, living in the woods, front-rising, large-limbed, violet, Eastern and vigorous during the day. And so now what we're going to be doing is fleshing out each one of those things for you in everyday English so you understand what, we're, what it says. So we'll start with the body parts. So Leo rules the cavity. It's called the cavity. It's the abdominal cavity. And that's where the important organs of vitality and the organs that give strength from food are located the stomach, liver, kidneys, pancreas, and the spleen. So Leo therefore has a sway on digestion, but also represents the personality strength of self-esteem and confidence. The most cavernous organ that we're aware of is the stomach. It is the hole that we feel when we eat. Similarly, Leo represents the desire to feel fulfilled and the capacity to feel fulfilled instead of empty when we live our lives in a dignified manner. So what would you like to say about that, Nishu? This seems to fit right in with Ayurveda. That's right. I mean, Leo, Leo rules the abdominal cavity, you know? So we're basically talking about the digestive region. This is also where Ayurveda says the digestive fire is located in the body. So altogether, the abdominal cavity is the center of the body, you know, from the Ayurvedic point of view, because the digestive fire resides there. But that's also just another way of saying that the primary energy of the body, like the central vitality of the human system, is located in that part, you know, in the abdominal cavity. And the Chinese also say this. This is a pretty common understanding in the East, that the navel, the solar plexus, that whole region, what we call the abdomen, that's the vital center, you know, for the human being. So that's where we digest our food. That's where we do a lot. Most of the work of the body is there. So if that happens really well, if that happens the way that it should, you're going to get good nutrients. You're going to be eliminating waste. You're not going to have leftover food toxins. You're going to be energized. You're going to have, you know, the vitality that Leo is attributed as having self-esteem and I can do this and I'm here to do this and that kind of energy you know, depends on your Agni, basically, you know, yeah. your fire. Which means fire, yeah. Um, which brings us to the season that Leo is associated with, mm -hmm. and that is um, the summer. And the summer is when the sun is the hottest. So the Agni, the fire, is the, the hottest, and Leo maintains the summer. Yes, Leo is a fixed energy sign. And the fixed signs, as we just um, explained last time, are the signs that maintain the season. So the sign of Cancer started the summer. Leo maintains the summer. And that's the nature of the fixed signs. They, make, <coughs> they um, are stable. They create security, are steadfast and slow to change. And Leo represents the personal security of self-esteem and the stability that comes from taking pride and satisfaction in one's life. So uh, since you have so many fixed sign um, 
planets in your chart, Nishi, and your ascendant is the fixed sign of Leo. Right. Do you want to add anything about this? Well, I think fixed is a really interesting category. You know, it can have so many meanings. Um, I think I used to think of it in a limited fashion of like, it means you just stay in one place. But, and I think that is true, you know, in a lot of ways. Um, wherever I go, I do, st I do kind of stay there for a while yeah. before I go to a new place. I'm not, I'm not quick to move to a new place. Right. But also, I think it has something to do with how one applies oneself in life. It's like a fixed sign is going to like see it through more. Yeah, that's true. Like having the vision, having the ability to manifest it. Like Leo is not just the visionary. Leo is a visionary that's going to make it visible to everybody else. That's the whole point, you know, is to make this vision visible to everybody else. So they know how to make it happen. That's, mm -hmm. the, that's that fixed quality because you have to be able to stay with it long enough to manifest it. Yeah, that, that's it's true. It's not flighty quality. It's not flighty. It's not... It's not subject to whims or just like the movement of the weather around the person. It's like there's something they're committed to inside of themselves, you know? Right. That's the fixed quality. That's how I, I see it, at least. Yeah, you know what's interesting about this, too, is making me think of it right now. And that is in, in my birth chart, I have mostly dual and cardinal movable signs. Oh, wow. The only thing that I have that's fixed are the nodes. And I've noticed that the important people in my life are people who have lots of fixed energy. It's like because I have so much move, you know, movement that I need people who can stabilize things for me. Mm -hmm. and they need the, you know, the new energy that I bring in. And so that could apply to people's relationships. It's one of the things you can look at in your chart is to see um, what it, what is the predominant modality of your of the planets in the signs and if you have a predominant you know whether it's a fixed dual or movable that can tell you like what kind of person is best for you depending on what you want to do in your life mm -hmm. so so if you're always wanting to travel say for instance like the the couples on um, YouTube, you know the, the 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 travel vloggers, they're always on the move, always on the move, and it makes me wonder what do their charts look like. <laughs> you know, there's got to be a strong seventh house and ninth house um, emphasis there, but there probably is also a lot of movable and maybe dual energy and not much fixed. I don't know. What do you think? It would have to be movable energy. It would just have to be. You know, yeah. I, I tend to encounter people in my life who have a lot of movable, you know, qualities, travel all the time. One day they're here, one day they're there, you know, so that obviously is a balance for me. That's interesting. Okay. So yeah. would you like to begin the next um, part, which is the gender of Leo? Sure. So Leo is a male sign, you know, it's masculine in its quality, which means that Leo is interested in what it does, you know, and it's, it's happiness, it's fulfillment, it's satisfaction, it's dependent on what it's able to do, you know. So there's a lot of initiative, there's a lot of responsibilities, you know. Leo is happy to embrace responsibilities. It's happy to take something on, to do something, to create something, you know. The main thing about gender is just how the sign is operating, you know. A masculine sign is going to be initiatory they're going to want to do things you know act and exert themselves whereas the feminine sign is going to be more receptive to what comes into them you know that right. they then respond to they're not there to just go out and go get something you know right so right. And also leo is i mean it's ruled by the sun which right. is the king and the king has a lot of responsibilities and he's also more self-sacrificing because of that that's right that's an important quality, you know, Leos get a bad rap for being like self-centered, but the true meaning of the sun is self-sacrifice. That's how Leos give what they're here to give is by be being that transparent sacrifice. So that's the higher side of Leo, actually. Yeah. They're very service oriented. Yeah, when they're good kings. That's right, the good king. <laughs> yeah. Okay, um, 
Leah, um, because it's in a masculine sign, it's also considered to be a cruel sign. But what cruel means is that they're more focused on getting things done. And so therefore they're harder, they're pushier. Um, you know, Leo has a lot of duties and responsibilities to fulfill, including the responsibility of getting others to fulfill their duties. And so they don't have as much time for engaging in lighter and more enjoyable things. They're the person who tends to always have something important going on. <laughs> so um, especially a Leo who, it tends, they tend to be popular, I've noticed too, probably because they shine the way that they do. And they They're have magnetic. Magnetic, yeah, that magnanimous way of being um, that people want their time. Mm -hmm. So, but the chances of getting their time are not as good. So you better have a good reason for taking up their time. <laughs> right? That's true. It is true. There's yeah, certainly a restlessness, you know, that I'm aware of in myself. If I'm not doing one thing, I'm just going to do the next. Right. So you I, always I don't have time. idle time um, right. by choice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you have... Um, things that you want to accomplish before you die, right? Because that's it's right. Done. Right. And that's a big focus for a Leo person. It's like getting those yeah. things accomplished, you know? Right. And they're very creative. Okay. So do you want to take the, the Pitakafa Vada thing since it's sure. a Vada related so thing? Now we're talking about doshas. So the dosha of the sign. So because Leo's a fire sign, it, it's associated with Pitta dosha. And if you are already familiar with Ayurveda and the Pitta kind of personality type, then everything that Karen and I have been saying so far will just be screaming at you, Pitta, you know. If you know a Pitta person, they're very Leo-like in a certain way because they're very ambitious, they're hardworking, they, you know, have goals, they want to do this, and, you know, and they're doing it. You know, like we just said, they're not really ones for idle time. That's your Pitta person, you yeah. know who's very um, motivated. So they're not going to sit around and just relax. You know, Pitta can be like the kind of type A personality at times, you know, like very, can be high strung, mm -hmm. um, serious, you know, that fire element keeps them warm, you know, activated, you know, they need help cooling down, you know? Yeah, that's true. Wow. Cause it's cooling down, so turning off, calming down, you know, Leo's are fired up, you know, <laughs> up people and they're always feel like they need to be fired up basically you know so they are prone to pitta imbalances as well because if they're not being healthy you know if leo's an important sign in your chart and you're not in harmony with yourself then these qualities will go out of balance so then you'll have pitta problems like i'm saying i'm describing a kind of imbalanced pitta person the workaholic they stay yeah. up until midnight just crunching through stuff that kind of energy yeah, that can be tough. So that's probably why in the summertime, where it's the hottest time of the year, Ayurveda recommends that we eat lighter and cooling foods, melons and, you know, that sort of stuff. That's right. Salads, you know, raw foods. So the Pitta provides Leo the, the, the sign of rulership with the power to manage and protect. Okay, so now to element, which we've been talking about a lot already. That's right. So, and fire, which is interesting. Um, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius are the fire signs, and they are characterized by will. And the element relates to the mentality of the signs um, as being intuitively centered. So intuition is the ability to know with immediate perception, without there being any intermediate type of perception about the thing being known. Meaning you don't really know how you come to it. It's quick, like, like fire. Um, and intuition also provides will, which is the outburst of knowing. And what Leo does in particular is he intuits the divine self, which we all have within us. So do you have anything else to say about that element? I know because it's so closely associated with Pitta, I don't but know if there's much differentiation. It's very similar, you know, pretty much the same. I would just say that Leo is intuiting the divine self. What does that mean exactly, right? 
Well, it, it's because Leo is the channel for the sun. You know, Leo is mm -hmm. ruled by the sun. And in the, Ve in, Vedic, in the Vedic system, the Vedic way of looking at things, the sun is the symbol of the divine. You know, the sun is the light, that steadfast flame that never burns out, that gives light to the solar system. You know, it's the source. Yeah. So because Leo is the sign ruled by the source, Leo has the ability to intuit the divine self because that's what's so readily moving through their system. You see, they're solar people. So it's a solar sign. So that's all. Yeah, yeah, the, the untarnishable gold within. That's what I like to think of it as, as mm -hmm. the Jungians would say. <laughs> right, that's right. And by the way, I like the Jungian astrologers too, so. Totally. Yeah. Totally, I love that stuff. Yeah, me too. So um, now for the Guna. You want to talk about the Guna, Sattva, Rajas, Thomas, and what Leo is? Yeah, you know, when we're talking about Guna and signs, what we're really talking about is the motivating quality of the sign. And if you look at Guna and other Vedic paradigms, it'll have slightly different connotations. I mean, this is a paradigm that's applied in so many different ways that it's incredibly confusing. Hmm. But when we're talking about signs, we're talking about what is the motivation of this sign? What is it oriented towards? How does it want to use its life energy? 